Hi, I'm Tamara Lackey. I'm going to talk today about photographing children. Kind of uh, some things to think about when you're actually out there wrestling with the kids and shooting around. I'm going to go ahead and get right into it and start walking through some photographs and tell you what I did to make these. Um, so in this photograph, I'm on the beach and I've got this little cute family, a little girl in the middle. She's uh, about 18 months or two years or so. And um, what I'm finding is that she's extremely responsive to me. And so I'm using the principles of mirroring, which is uh, with adults, it's one thing where you actually sit and you show them a pose and you ask them to go ahead and adopt that pose. With kids, you've got to really exaggerate it and you've got to basically mess with them a little bit. So what I wanted was an interactive shot playing in the sand. And instead of just saying, hey, throw the sand at me, I threw it at her first. In a way, you've got to be careful. You don't get in the eyes. You don't have a breakdown. You don't have a temper tantrum. Um, but I went ahead and threw it at her first and made it a silly, silly game. So I got her attention. And as she threw it back at me, I got this perfect moment with the parents are enjoying it and she's enjoying it and we're playing, all that sort of stuff. It's kind of an element of mirroring, but adapted to kids. So in this image, I'm in a park with uh, three little kids. And the youngest kid, he's about three and a half years old, um, adorable little boy, but either was upset and feeling left out of the group or was trying really hard to give me the smile that you don't really want to capture. And so what I found is I had to pull him aside and get some one-on-one -on -one time with him and mostly just start doing silly little things where I'm fiddling with my ear and playing with my eyebrows and my nose and, um, and having him do that back to me. So it's a form of mirroring, but a lot sillier and goofier. And I ended up getting this adorable, sweet little pixie looking image of him, but only after I started just kind of messing with him one-on-one. -on -one. This image is actually my little girl when she's about four and a half years old or so. And um, what I find is that just like when you're working with adults, you might say something like, you know, roar for me, be a jungle cat, and kind of mess with them. With kids, of course, you've got to tone that down and be more appropriate with your language. But you can start calling out things if you want to play with expressions, asking them to go ahead and play out characters that they know. And so I do this a lot with the, either it's the high school musical craze or pretty much any Disney show or anything that you see on television right now that's aimed towards the tweeners and now the younger kids, um, they always have the mean girl. And the mean girl always has a certain attitude, which she's displaying quite perfectly here. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and make this an interesting image. So I have her up against um, a reflective window. And I had her kind of, at first she was doing the really silly thing and then the giggly thing. And then I said, no, I want you to be Sharpay, who's the mean girl in High School Musical. And I said, no, no, meaner, 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 meaner. And basically you goad them and get them into their acting mode and you start having just a more interesting image here. And then when I had and treated it with a grittier feel. So continuing along with um, adapting to your subjects, with just as with adults and you, um, you get a read on them and you get a feel for how much you can play with them and tease with them and kind of make little jokes, um, with kids it's the same way. So if you have a child, especially boys, who um, are a little rougher and a little um, more playful and, and kind of want to do more daring things, um, blowing bubbles up in the air and saying, oh, look at the pretty bubbles doesn't really do much. Um, so instead, you've got to say something like, do me a favor and run through this patch of bubbles and try to smash them all with your nose. Um, and then you end up getting an image that you know he's really into and he's having fun and it just shows sunshine and light and um, little boys at play. But you're doing something to help set it up. And anytime you're working with kids, you've got to think about having patience. Patience is huge. And um, with adults, you can tell them, try this, try this. Um, obviously, there's some patience involved in just being able to build a connection with them and a rapport. Um, with children, oftentimes, you've got to wait for things to cycle through. With this little girl, for instance, um, completely adorable child, but was crazy when she got in the studio. She was literally doing laps around the studio and we'd have to pull her back and finally I thought, why even begin the shoot until I let her get this manic energy out? Um, which we did and then by the time that went away about 30 minutes later or so, um, I realized like having her just sit still for me was never gonna work for this child. So instead what we did was just kind of plop her down and like physically drop her in locations. <laughs> and so like, you know, have, a, have a, a bean bag for instance and drop her down and then tell her to look up and, and at first you get this really kind of fun um, images with a lot of movement, but after a while she gets a little tired of it and then she'll just look up and this moment came about, you might think that this girl posed for me all day, she did not ever, not once. I love this image because it was just a silent moment, she got a little tired, she looked at me, this was a microsecond, I, got, I pulled this image, um, but it was completely attributed to being patient.